Karen, I wanted to introduce you to a new best friend you should make. And I wanted to introduce our audience to a new best friend it should make. That's the 990T. What is the IRS 990T? It's an American tax document that 501c3s and other charitable organizations are required to file. In America, a 501c3 is a charity. There's other types of charities, but we're interested in the Church of Scientology, which is a 501c3. When you donate money to a charity in America, a 501c3, they must spend it for charitable purposes. A benefit to the general public. It's a public benefit. It's, and they don't want to tax them because they're a public Because it benefits, benefit. yeah, it benefits the public. So if, if uh, a church exists and people can go in and pray and, you know, confess their sins, and it's, it's to the benefit of the public at large, although not all members of the public will go into that particular church. But what a church can't do is buy its leader, say, a solid gold hat or anything else. That's called inurement. Mm -hmm. And what is of interest to the IRS is inurement. If the Church of Scientology were to spend money for the personal benefit of David Miscavige or anyone else. And the 901, I'm sorry, the uh, 990Ts, by the time this video is released, people will know how to get them online, and they can do all the research they want for the Church of Scientology. What I did is I found all the 990Ts legally online because the IRS requires them to be public documents. Mm -hmm. So I released them through my blog, OT It Is Great, and then Tony Ortega released them. You start exposing things like this and putting them into the to the public record, and sooner or later the result is going to be someone reaches a politician or a person of influence somewhere who calls up the IRS commissioner or someone high up in the IRS and says, hey, you know, what the hell is going on here? What is, wh how is this possible, and what are you doing about it? And at which point, then the, you know, the ball will start to roll, and there will be consequences. Church of Scientology International, book value is $790 million. $790 million. Now, what does that mean? First of all, that's a 2011 value. And it's the value of their real estate portfolio largely. It's assets. It's not what they brought in in cash. That part we don't know. That's not public data, what their cash flow is. Mm. Nor are the location of their bank accounts. It is hard and has got to be hard for those people. And you know that the, the vast majority of people who are still involved in the what I call the fundamentalist church are constantly hounded for money and they got to look at that and go wait a minute <laughs> you know why are they why are they you know get going after me for my last thousand dollars when they've got you know one and a half billion dollars and that doesn't even include the IAS what you know what's going on here why do they keep why do they keep collecting money why aren't they why aren't they spending the money so these recent 990Ts that Tony Ortega published show Church of Spiritual Technology. And this is the group that builds the nuclear balls out in the desert, up in Idaho, Washington State, Capitola, Trementina, so that if there were a nuclear catastrophe, all the materials of Dianetics and Scientology would be safe. They put the circles on the ground, mm -hmm. you know, the, RT, uh, the CST symbol. And they're worth $434 million mm. to put uh, stainless steel records in titanium vaults inside the ground. When you're in the church, certainly, uh, they're always telling you there's a dire emergency and they need money now. Yet, if you look at their wealth, just what we know of through these public filings, there's no financial emergency. There's no dire <laughs> crisis where you have to have money now, 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 now. 
And uh, I, by the way, I did enjoy Chris Shelton bringing out that point on his recent video. Now, now, now. Everything's down, now, now. Uh, this could be a make or break for people deciding, I'm not going to take out a mortgage on my house. There's no crisis. I'm not going to drain my children's college funds. Exactly. Exactly. That was exactly the point that I was trying to make that you just articulated. I think that this is something that people who are in the church who are being hit for money all the time, all the time, and it's always the desperate, you've you got to give us your last $1,000, are going to look at that and go, wait a minute, why would I be giving them my last $1,000? Why don't they spend one of their one point five billion dollars and instead of bankrupting me celebrity center international they have a book value in 2012 of 39 million dollars mm -hmm. now the building's been depreciated it may be worth more that's just what they're declaring their cpa is uh, declaring as a book value flag service organization 2012 209 million dollars this is very curious because we don't know if it includes the new superpower no, building. No, superpower. That was one year. Superpower was nowhere near ready. Three, this four is years 2012. Ago. Right. 2012. Two years ago. So you would add presumably 160 million dollars or whatever they're claiming for the flag building. We have filed today in federal court the first of what we believe are many lawsuits against the Church of Scientology, alleging fraud. These lawsuits are filed by disaffected church members. Many in, were high-ranking in the church. Our suit claims fraud with respect to charitable donations, with respect to promises to open a building the superpower building in Clearwater with respect to breach of contract for the taking of money promising to return it and then refusing to do so and false and deceptive unfair trade practices What do you think will be the effect, in your opinion, of the release of this kind of publicly available information, especially the tax, uh, the tax uh, filings? I think that it will make a lot of people um, – I think it will have different effects on different people, Jeff, but here is what, what uh, I believe is going to happen. I believe that it will uh, be a vehicle to use to – show to people who are sitting on the the fence or not quite sure about what they want to do or they they don't want to believe anything that's said by an SP. The beauty of those documents is that they're church documents and they're not disputable. They are filings that are made with the IRS. These money returns are quite shocking to see how much wealth is being amassed. And what really gets to me is how they make the taxpayer, you, you watching this video, you pay for Scientology's medical of their 5,000 army, army of Sea Org members. When a Sea Org member gets into any kind of heavy medical condition, a tumor in the brain, a cancerous growth, a bad, t an impacted tooth, something. In Los Angeles, they go to County USC, where student medical doctors can practice on you. And you sit with a bunch of hobos and homeless people on a bench, like my son Alexander Jench did, for six hours with a huge needing a root canal, and um, uh, the church won't pay. Church, 
course will not they don't pay. want to pay. They're not going to pay for your medical. They don't want. Let the taxpayer pay. For 25 years on baby slaughter when they enforced abortions, they bust people to planned parenthood where the federal government give this abortion clinic money to abort babies. And Scientology Inc., the Church of Scientology, used federal dollars to get the mostly young girls in their 20s to abort their babies quick and fast so that they get back and do more slave labor for the church so that more buildings could be bought and more wealth could be amassed. That, folks, is the Church of Scientology. 